give up 23 offensive rebounds and you only get three yourself, there's really – I'm not sure you deserve to win the game, and that's what I told our guys. But uh, the fact is, uh, you know, we guarded the way we needed to. We just didn't rebound. Uh, it's disappointing in, in a lot of different areas. And uh, But the fact is, you know, they – at the end – when we needed to get uh, come up with some rebounds, we weren't able to do it throughout. I mean, again, three offensive rebounds is not what you need. And we were going – I thought we got off to a good start. Then we had some – couple turnovers that turned the momentum early in the game. And then we even came back out, took the lead. And, again, simple things. Uh, but mostly offensive rebounding that we couldn't come up with uh, to, finish, to finish the defensive possession. Coaches, I mean – as. A as a guy who values toughness, who talks about it so much, just I mean, how how, how galling is it to see that happen? To your team? It's tough. It really is. It really is tough, especially when you feel like, again, we we, we feel like we're, we were making strides forward because we went up against a, a team, number three ranked team in the country, on their court and fought them and did all those little things, and then to come back and not do that is uh, it's disappointing. Yeah, on that note, I mean, you felt like this team was really going the right direction. So were you surprised with the way that everything came out today? I, I really, I, I was surprised in a lot of things. But I was surprised in the fact that we didn't rebound the way we needed to and the way, what we needed from everybody and just disappointed. Again, I, you go back and look, our, our post guys should have gotten the ball more. Our guards, uh, when, when he had a little pressure, instead of continuing to work, when we did that, we got the ball where we wanted. You know, Folke and Eve had a pretty good shooting percentage. But... We just, again, saddled too much, and, and uh, we got to our, put ourselves up against the clock too much because we weren't pushing the ball the way we need to. And But um, the rebound, yeah, is really disappointing. That might be the call I wanted. <laughs> All right. Can you discuss there's a video circulating of an official, I guess, Nance, walking to the monitor and kind of bumping you on the way by What was what happened there? You know, Coach Knight told me a long time ago in a game, he, he told me that officials are going to miss seven to nine, ten, eleven, twelve calls. He kept going up every year. He says you just hope things aren't egregious at, at any point in time. But uh, you know what? I, I really have a lot of confidence in the SEC office that they're going to look at that, and I believe they'll look at this game and, and take it apart. And uh, – because again, I, I just I think they'll do that, and uh, it shouldn't happen. It shouldn't happen in any way, shape, or form. But uh, I like to say what I want to say, but I won't. Because again, I just trust the SEC office will do the right thing. Uh, Rick, only two minutes for uh, you, Roche, tonight. Was that just a strategic decision, or did you not like how he, what you saw? You know, early again, we wanted to make more, uh, and again, we probably should have played. I mean, I look back right now and say we could have played him more, rebounded more. But when we were struggling to score like that like we were and you know we felt like we had to keep some guys out there that that we had to uh, not put him in a situation where he couldn't have success but uh we just got it we, we need i thought olivier did okay i really do but we just we're going to have to figure out how to and our guards are going to have to do it a couple of those you know our post guys came over and and tried to make some plays on the ball and our guards have to come in and rebound the ball and, and i know a couple of times like that didn't happen you mentioned it a little earlier, but can you explain why guys settled for so many outside shots and kind of got away from what had made you all so successful the last three games? I can't because uh, I can't explain it now. I really can't because we, that's all we've talked about for the last couple games. And, uh, and because that's what they hope. They hope you shoot it and shoot it often. And, and, uh, but I really can't explain it because as much as we've talked about it, we felt like our guys had understood that. And you go back in the first half when we ran some things, the stuff that we run, the, the cutter, the the ball should have gone where it needed to go, and our guards didn't deliver it. Do you feel like Vescovi's maybe starting to turn a corner and understanding what y'all want to do offensively? It's just had three turnovers the past three games. Yeah, I think I think that, but I think he's going to have to play at a quicker pace. I think you know he's going to have to get the ball down the floor quicker, and people are going to continue to pressure him until he proves he he's he's willing to do that. What does Yurosh have to do to earn your trust? Is it is he still reaching, or is it something else? Defensively, that he's going to he's going to be a, he's going to go in and create some things, rebound the ball, and all we need all we need he and Olivier to do right now are defend the way we want him to defend, rebound the ball, and 
be able to, at his size, he's got to be a fix-it guy that when things do break down, he's got to go make a play on the ball. Coach, just looks like the last two games, Jordan, and when his shot, when his shot's about falling, he's, he's been more willing to put it on the floor, try to get to the rim, get to the foul line. Is that a reflection of you know, what, what you guys well, think? Well, again, so? he took a couple tonight that he shouldn't have, that he had a chance to drive the ball again. And, I mean, you look when he starts to drive the ball, it adds so much more to his game. Like, he came out early and, again, the floor's wide open. He raised up behind the screen. But uh, that one he definitely should have driven the ball. And, you know, we need you need to get to the foul line. You know, we're, we're a pretty good, shooting free th pretty good free throw shooting team when we get there normally. But uh, we still – Again, when a team is packed in there like that, you've got to get them into rotation, keep them in rotation. So if nothing else, you can get to get to some offensive boards, and we didn't do that. Rick, I, I know that you say that y'all kind of look over games and you scrub them out the same no matter what. But but when you're watching and breaking that stuff down, and you just kind of see your team being out fought, is that the toughest well, the, thing the, to look the, at? Tonight, again, I that's what I felt throughout the game, and that's what's disappointing. Again, whether you say out tough, out fault, you can put any word you want to put on it. You know, the fact is, uh, again, the rebounding discrepancy, I think, tells you all you need to know. And, again, and I'm not sure there's a uh, – I've already looked at some clips of it, and I could tell you, you know, I, I think, again, I better stop with it. But the fact is we, we didn't do what we needed to do. That's, that's the bottom line on the boards. Thank you, guys. All right, thank you, guys.